say. What he what he just did was open negotiations. Yeah. Right? <laughs> like they have to they are gonna talk about an extension in this offseason. It remains to be seen if they get there, because we remember the last time it wasn't easy. But here's Jerry kind of putting it out there, like, all right, well, you know, you want an extension, but we haven't really gone as far as we want to go with you. Maybe we, uh, so I think that's what this is. I think it's a first salvo in negotiation. Hey, what up, YouTube? I'm back with another video, man. I'm back with another video. And in this video right here, we're going to talk about Jerry Jones. And that clip I just played y'all right there, that was Dan Graziano. I hope I pronounced his name right, but y'all know who he is, NFL analyst. Now, in my last video, you guys was in my comment section telling me, oh man, Jerry Jones is a businessman. He can worry about soccer and you will be absolutely right. But I'm not worried about Jerry Jones, the businessman or the owner. I'm worried about Jerry Jones, the GM. But we're going to listen to them talk about these DAC contract negotiations and then we're going to venture off into Jerry Jones. Check it out. Look, look, look pan right here. There <laughs> is no negotiation. Yeah. This dude has all the, very rarely, in your life, are you going to get this much leverage? And Dak Prescott's got a $60 million number against their cap. No trade, no franchise, no – he going to do what he wants. What he needs to do is write a really big number on a piece of paper Slide and hand it thing. to Jerry and Slide. say, Jerry, let's get it done and then move on. Let's go sign other players, whatever else we got to do. That should be the negotiation if you're Dak Prescott. Now, that right there was Jeff Saturday talking about Dak Prescott contract. Now, I'm going to bring this all together about Jerry Jones, but just bear with me. Right there, he's talking about how Jerry, Dak Prescott got one more year on his contract. $60 million. So for all you Dak Prescott haters out there that want this man gone, you might just get your wish, but you're gonna have to bear with him for one more year. Now I'm gonna let you listen to Dominique Foxworth talk about this contract and how Jerry Jones is doing his disservice to his team. And we're gonna bring it all together with Jerry Jones. Check it out. He's I mean, it appears that Dan is right. He's the only thing that makes sense is that he's trying to create some sort of leverage. <laughs> this is an awful way to create leverage because essentially what he's doing is like perpetuating this conversation that's kind of absurd that Dak is not good enough. And that is not gonna do anything but feed the fools within their fan base that are gonna say this and put more and more pressure on Dak and make it more and more uncomfortable for your quarterback. You got a good quarterback, pay that man. This Jerry Jones's behavior right now and in previous uh, contract negotiations are the reason why these people feel emboldened to say stuff like this. Yeah, and yeah. whether Jerry Jones wants to win a championship or create a reality show, I'm not quite so sure. But this does not seem <laughs> to be the most productive thing to do if you are trying to create a, a galvanized team that can win a championship around Dak Prescott. Just pay the man and tell everybody else, shut up. This is our guy. We came up short, but that doesn't mean that he's not our guy. Now that right there was Dominique Foxworth. And you heard the man, NFL analyst. He's talking about the culture of this team that Jerry Jones is creating. It's almost like a reality show. Every week it's about Dak Prescott or Mike McCarthy's job. And we got bigger fish to fry, defensive coordinator and things of that nature. So we're dealing with two different people here. We got Jerry Jones, the owner and Jerry Jones, the GM. Like which one of these guys want to win a Super Bowl? So now we're about to transition into Jerry Jones and talk about how he's creating a negative culture around this team. So we're going to listen to Dominique Hawkins talk real quick. Then we're going to sum this up with what a GM is supposed to be doing. Check it out. Take that. As someone who is sitting on this desk because I came from a literal Jerry Jones reality show, um, <laughs> I can promise you, like, Jerry Jones is speaking every week to the media. He is saying something about Dak Prescott. He is saying something about Mike McCarthy, so on and so forth. But in the game of football, the game within the game is it is the owner's job to try to get you to take as little money as humanly possible. I don't care how great you are. You could be their son playing football on their team. Their job is to underpay you. And as a player, it is your job to try to get that ownership and that franchise to overpay for your services. And Dak Prescott has done everything he's needed to do to do exactly that. He has led the league in touchdown passes. He has that $60 million cap hit. He has every piece of the leverage. So all that Jerry, June, Jerry Jones could do now is try to sway the court of public opinion on why this is going to be probably a little harder than they that's anticipated. Right. Now that right there was Andrew Hawkins. And that's the second person we done heard say this is a reality show that Jerry Jones got carried on. It's always something about Dak Prescott or Mike McCarthy when we got a whole bunch of other stuff to be worried about. And this is the culture that Jerry Jones brings to the Dallas Cowboys. Jerry Jones want to get these players to take less money, which is okay. That's the owner. But what is the GM supposed to be doing? What, what, what job is the GM? Now, let's be honest. If Jerry Jones had a GM, 
or any other team had a GM and they went 12 and 5, 12 and 5, 12 and 5 and couldn't get to the NFC Championship or the AFC Championship, he'd be fired. But Jerry Jones not going to fire himself and he's creating an unhealthy culture around the Dallas Cowboys. But Dominique Foxworth agrees with me. Check it out. I agree with you. The job is not to try to get you to pay as little as possible. Your job is to create a culture and a team Galvanize. and a roster that can win yeah. the championship. And, the very, and I think that there are some pennies that are not worth fighting over because the cost of fighting Dak Prescott oh. over a couple million dollars here or there, Absolutely. which you're not going to get, is yeah. detrimental to your team. Like, one, a challenge for a lot of NFL teams is it's a business that has two objectives. One is to make money yep. and the other is to win championships. Most of the time, those things are not in conflict. When those things are in conflict, you show your true colors by the decision you make and right now those things are in conflict and Jerry Jones seems to care more about like arguing Dak down than getting the, the team galvanized why now YouTube and Cowboy Nation do you guys see what I'm saying is you guys picking up what I'm putting down Jerry Jones the owner and GM of the Dallas Cowboys is trying to help hold court in the eyes of the public opinion Dak Prescott would only go as far as we only go as far as Dak could take us and you've seen we just got Molly Wop by the Green Bay Packers. So what you do is you call Dak in the office and say, hey, Dak, thank you for your services. Bye-bye and cut him and get on up out of here and move on, get another quarterback and move forward. Ain't no need to be trying to negotiate in the public. Tell Dak to kick rocks. That's the owner and the GM. But I'm going to show you what a GM is supposed to be doing. Check it out. So you know how you operate. An owner and a general manager. Mm -hmm. and when you're wearing two hats, you got to do two exactly. different jobs. Yep, right. That's the yep. problem. If you're, if you're trying to galvanize a team, Great point. that's where you do it from. When you're a general manager, you're trying to negotiate contracts. That is not where you're galvanizing the team. It's a private mm -hmm. conversation. You can't have it in public, the court of public opinion like you're talking about. Damn. Like, it, like in totality, as a general manager, you haven't hit the mark either. You just can't fire yourself because you're the owner. But if we were looking at general managers, we would say, oh, the middle of the defense was really weak. No run game there's some uh, there's some things that we should have fixed that we didn't fix but we're not going to blame ourselves we're going to blame McCarthy and Dak that's the two easiest places to stop you know you're making the Dak career yeah. and I say it this way <laughs> Howie Roseman takes all kinds of grief right for whatever it is right so you know we're talking about hiring coaches and 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 good for him but one thing he does do is make adjustments to help his team whether it's go get A.J. Brown whether it's go get Linval Joseph and Indomitian Sue middle of the season that they make a Super Bowl run they are he is willing to make some chance cha or take chances when when all Jerry. Jerry does is say, we draft good, we got the talent, we got this. No, you don't. Like, we can look at a roster and say, you are lacking in areas, you are flawed. Mm. And the problem is, when you're the owner, you don't want to see that because it reflects on you. Well, there you have it, YouTube and Cowboy Nation. Ex-NFL players saying the same thing I've been saying for a while now. The Dallas Cowboys is nothing more than a high-class reality TV show. Now, I started off this video talking about Dak Prescott and his contract, how he's $60 million versus the cap next year. And if he doesn't get an extension, this might be his last year in Dallas. Now, I did that part of the video for all you Dak Prescott haters out there who want him gone. So you might just get your wish, but you have to deal with him more one more year. But the point of this video was about Jerry Jones and the culture he has invented around the Dallas Cowboys, the GM, not the owner, the GM. So put in the comment section if you agree with me. Is Jerry Jones the problem of the Dallas Cowboys? Is he what needs to be changed? Does the GM of the Dallas Cowboys need to be fired? Put that in the comment section. And until the next one, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, man, and jump in that comment section. Peace.